Hello everybody and welcome. We are Two Fun Guys. I'm Josh. And I'm Kevin. Coming to you from the Secret Bug Out Bunker here in the wild and local state of West by God, Virginia. And we have another question from the Question and Answer series. Today's what? question. What is today's question? It comes from Nicole in Pennsylvania. And she's asking us what our favorite sleeping bag is. Well, I haven't used a sleeping bag probably since middle school slash high school. It's been that long. Um, I can't remember the brand of sleeping bag I had then. I, I have yet to use one. Um, I usually don't go out when it's too cold or when uh, I'm going to need anything heavier than really a, a blanket and a hammock or, you know, what I currently have on me. Yeah, the violin, the symphony of sorrow. Mm. So. so personally, I'm not a lot of help when it comes to my favorite sleeping bag because I really don't use them. Kevin, on the other hand, I I have used sleeping bags. I'm, you know, I'm I prefer to be a hammock camper. So most of the time, I just use a sleeping pad and a blanket. Uh huh. But I mean, there are there are. You know, sleeping bags out there that I would prefer in different situations. Um, if I'm trying to be ultra light, I'm going to go with a down bag. Mm -hmm. Those are very expensive. And one of the drawbacks, other than price, is if you get them wet, uh, they are virtually useless until they are completely dry. dried out. Yeah. Um, the other drawback is if it's really cold weather, then you're going to be carrying, usually carrying a heavier sleeping bag if it's not down. Uh -huh. That adds anywhere from you know three to eight pounds to your pack, depending on you know what type you buy and how much you want to spend. Yeah. Um, but overall, if I had to take one bag into the woods, I would usually, I would probably pick the snug pack um, or a military version sleeping bag. Um, usually a three-part system. One's a silk liner. The other's the bag itself. And the final part is usually a waterproof bivy mm -hmm. that goes around the bag um, because, you know, if it's warm outside, you can just pretty much use the, you know, the silk liner. Mm -hmm. If it's a little damp, you can use the silk liner and, and, the, and the bivy bag. Yeah. If it's cold, you know, cold and dry, you just use the, the uh, sleeping bag, just cold and wet. You can use all three, keeps you nice, warm, and dry. Um, Good point. So there you go, get you a three-piece military system or check snug pack, they make a three-piece system, which they also use to sell to the British military also. Yeah. They're so, a good company. They yeah, they're all, all their stuff is tried and true and yes. it's hard use gear and it's gear that they use for their military also over, uh -huh. over in the, I can't say the EU anymore because they split up, but, or the UK, whatever, you know, they you know what I'm saying. Union. Yeah. They finally got smart and split up. Yeah. Just like we need to get get out of the UN. You know what I'm saying? I'm not throwing any personal thoughts in there, but you know. Thumbs up to that. Yeah. So speaking of thumbs up, uh, we give you a thumb up, Nicole, for your question, and we give two thumbs up to the men and women in uniform that serve this country each and every day. Until next time, we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Um. Tell your mama I said, what's up? She know what you mean.